as far as this next battle, Smooth, talk to me, because I feel like you taking Leo in 65 back-to-back and then taking next uh, three right. in a row back-to-back that, that, that is going to play a factor. Talk to me, man. Was, Am I wild and Smooth? Am I wild? Look, that was another one I was responding to on the live. That was something that I was saying on the live, too, like, like, bro. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Kelly Food just said he said on the live, my nigga, I be battling on the street corners and shit, nigga. I was battling in school, fifteen niggas, and I know how to do this shit. And it's nothing. So basically, he said like, it's nothing. Really, the most that's what he do. Smooth, smooth. Talk to me, man. I've been telling, I was, I was I, I've been telling me. niggas, niggas sleeping on. Oh, let, let's smooth go. Let, let's move go. Let's move go. Today, bro, I was talking to R&B today about the whole shit, and I was saying like. Like, I got more battles, but the ones that are announced. I got other shit going on, too. Like, to me, the hardest part is memorizing rather than – because anything I'm going to write for somebody is only going to be for that person. So it's not like I'm ever going to be wasting bars or having to split bars up or, or divide this material. That Never. Because what I write about one person is going to be different than what I write about the next person. So I write as soon as, as, soon as King Leo. You're back in King Leo. About three days in, I'm I'm gonna be done. You feel me? Sixty five hundred. About three days in, just tell me that I'm gonna be done. And when it gets time closer to that battle, then I'm gonna start I'm gonna start going in to memorize that battle. You feel me? But I already got all mm-hmm. the rounds for all of them battles. I already got all of it written, all in my notes. Cause like, you feel me? I might add here or take out here, but I just write. You feel me? So it's like, man, that that's not a handicap. Maybe memory. Like I just gotta zone in on some memory. I gotta put it in my headphones and really memorize like crazy. But like that ain't that's like that's I already wrote that. That's it. It's gonna sound the same if I battle next in February. If I battle him tomorrow, you feel me? It's gonna sound the same. Okay, okay. So that that's like one of my main points of saying I had next going to edge the battle. I think as far as just skill set on skill set, that should come down to preference because some niggas may love his punching. Some niggas may love your great rapping ability. You get what I'm saying? I just felt like having three battles in a row. To me personally, if you was taking like two kind of bums and then next, I'm oh, I should be able to get that. That's no problem. But when you battle, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, DJ, DJ, hold on for DJ, hold on for a second. When you taking battles like Leo, 65, and then next, like, to me, I'm like, damn, bro, that on paper, that kind of looked tough. I might have to edge next that one because that's like a road trip, no, like a full that. road I trip. That. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. But I don't think he going to smoke you, though. I don't know I don't know who was on there saying he going to smoke you. I don't think he's going to do that. I, I think it'll be close as shit. I, like, I got it with a, a close-ass edge. But anybody I, I, saying I never, smoke was, is wild. I was never mad about that. You know, I was just rap. I was rap mad about that. You feel me? All that was rap caps. I was selling the bite. I was making everybody interested. You feel me? Now, when that shit dropped, like, I guarantee more people want to see it now. Now that I done did that and I went on live, you feel me? And talked about everybody's predictions. You feel me? So that's what I was doing. I was selling the fight. I was bringing promotion to the event and all that. I was never mad about nobody's opinion. It's predictions. It's cool. I just I'm gonna just pull y'all on. I think he's gonna rap a lot longer than me. I think he's gonna rap longer, maybe. You think so? I think he's gonna rap a lot longer. I think I'm gonna be straight to mm. the point. I'm gonna be straight to the point. This is what I I'm here. This is what I want to say to you, and this is why I want to say it to you, and that's it. Round one. Do y'all Round have a two. time I'm limit here. on your battle, this or is, is it kind of unlimited? <laughs> it's ninety seconds round, minute and a half. Oh shit! That ain't much at all. Ninety seconds. Yeah. Mm, so, you okay, know, okay. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna oh, be fun. Great. I'm gonna go straight in, man. I got, I got some cool. I got some really dope. I like the material I have. It's original. It's clever. It's different. It's definitely not what he expects. Sixty. This material for sixty-five is retarded. It's definitely not what he expects. <laughs> King Leo. Oh my nigga. Hey, sixty you know, five, baby. Hey, look, he, he done circled that battle on the calendar, man. He been talking about that battle so much, man. I gotta. I hey, wish I could be there to see that battle, man. Cause y'all both are Real. entertainers, man. Like y'all both perform, bro. That's gonna be so fire to me. Oh um, man, I'm gonna, like sixty five. Like he don't today. even know. Sixty five think that he's just gonna get a regular battle. Like 
he don't know I'm about to be out of the box on him. Like he's he's gonna be trying to fight me head up, and I'm just gonna be swinging all these unorthodox punches from everywhere. Like it's gonna be crazy. I'm mm. like, so you gonna Deontay Wilder that nigga? You gonna Deontay Wilder that nigga? Huh? Okay, you nigga go. I'm telling you, man. Nigga. Hey, man. Hey, man. That nigga. I, I gotta say, man. That nigga smooth, man. I done been to uh, more than a few of his battles, and and every time I go to them battles, he be like, I talk to him. He be like, Yo, man. I'm about to go out the box on this nigga. I'm going to be direct <laughs> with this nigga. And that shit going to hit. And every time he done said that shit to me, that's exactly what that nigga do. I, 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 oh, I God, don't know what I'm going to say about that. that. That's all I that nigga do. That nigga be like, yo. Hey, you hey know, smooth. Real... I got... Oh, go ahead, DJ. I got something oh, else I want to kind of real, mention real smooth. quick. I'm going to say, smooth, you... I say you and next is going to be a hell of a class, style class because you've got that charismatic um, confidence, um, charisma flow, and he got that direct in your face. He's going to be all in your face barking at you. How are you going to handle the, that? The, the smooth got that shit too, though. No, no, no. I'm yeah. not saying he don't, but... I'm not saying yeah, he don't, I'm but just, that's I'm not, just, that's I'm not, just, that's I'm not here. I'm going to make it look very, very forced. He, he's going to look like he's doing too much. Because he be doing a lot. You huh? feel me? And and what he does, mm. he does, what he does is what I did versus Grizz. But he he makes it look oh, so much it. harder. He makes it look so much harder. Like, he's just really, really trying to get, not make it look so much easier. Like, I'm going to be saying that shit, and he's going to be forcing that shit. And when it's in front of each other, Y'all going to be able to tell the difference. I'm telling you. Y'all going to be able to tell the difference. So hold on. So smooth. I got I got a few things I want to ask you while I have you here on the line. Um, you know what I'm saying? This Leo battle, obviously, is this upcoming weekend. You know what I'm saying? How are you? I mean, it. It, it, I mean, how are you looking Leo. at this battle with Leo? Like, cause I know everybody's talking about you versus next, but. You know what I'm saying? How are you feeling about this first battle with Leo? Do you feel like this is going to be like a, a style class or something where you got to jump in a different bag? I mean, how are you feeling about it? I really like King Leo. Um, um, I think he's dope. I actually, uh, when they was hitting me up from PNR, they was talking about me battling somebody else. And, like, I was telling them, like, out of the PNR, out of the PNR roster, these are a couple of people that I'll rock with. And they was like, you know, you and King Leo sounds dope. So I got some cool shit for him. I got some dope shit for him. I think he, uh, I think he's he's straight to the point. He's a puncher. Um, so I'm actually gonna punch with him, man. I'm gonna rap with him, and we just gonna see mm. him come out victorious. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got, I know, I got some different shit to say. I know, I got some. Some left field shit to say. I know I must. Every round is gonna be different. The energy gonna be different in every round. One round gonna be this way. The other round gonna be this way. And one round I might slow it all the way down. Like it's gonna be funny as hell. So that shit gonna be different. You feel me? And I got some stuff to say about him that nobody has ever said to him in a battle. So same with sixty five. I got some shit to say about six and uh and next. I'm gonna say things about all three of them. That none of their opponents have ever, ever took route. No, no opponent has ever took that route. And I guarantee none of the, none of them three can say the same about me. Small. Mm. Mm. I heard that. So hold on. Let me Talk ask you this, shit. man, because this is what I really want to get into, man. I mean, we didn't have fun talking about the battle rap side and all that, but let's get into this hundred slice challenge, man. The community work you're doing, man. How is that? My nigga, hey, I appreciate you sitting out of you for the vlog you did too. For I shared it on all the social media. Oh, no doubt. But oh uh, yeah, man, shit, man. I appreciate everybody who participated, bro. It was like an idea that, um, because you know I do a toy drive every year. It's gonna be the third year doing a toy drive, um. In December, so we just we throw together like a little event, and then we have everybody bring out toys to get in instead of instead of money, and then everybody performs and shit like an open mic type thing. So before that, like I was planning that, and I was like, man, let's just do something where we just go in with the Thanksgiving turkey shit, and that became a little too 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 much to orchestrate. So we was like, we're gonna do pizzas. So we did the pieces, me and the homies, like, put our bread together. Me and, and it was fucked up because a gang of people volunteered on Facebook and all that and the groups and all that and didn't show up. But, um, well, we we did that. 
And then like when I when when it was cracking, like when we had everything, I was like, how can I make this more of a viral moment, like and affect more people? I was like, I'm gonna make it a challenge. Fuck it, I'm gonna see who who are rappers want it. What rappers will feed their community too? You feel me? And if I make it a challenge, it'll spread. It'll spread notoriety of of the source of why it started, who it started with, more people will eat, you feel me? And, you know, it'll be a good thing for everybody's community. I want to see how many people I can affect this year, how many people I can feed this year with with social media, you feel me? And a couple people did it. Niggas in Nebraska did it. Some niggas in uh, uh, San Bernardino did it. San Bernardino, yeah. Yeah, all day. I was, I was super, super happy, man. Hey, man. So, I like to say, I like to say, hey, 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 big ups on that man. Hey, that was a that's nice commendable, did, bro. Man, that's commendable. That's commendable. Man, I really that was big. That was big us, man. Facts. Man, for real, I really. I like, appreciate I like how you. Hey, 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 the motherfucker was like, we, uh, the people when you give the pieces to the um, that's fortune. They were like, what? You giving this to me? Yeah, that's you, bro. That's you. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh. They were like half the piece. I get half the piece. Yeah, hey, y'all, it was crazy. Like, it was oh, crazy. That's nice. A lot of, a lot of people, a lot of like, it was like 50-50, though. I can't even lie. It was like some because we was on Skid Row. I wanted to set an example, Ooh. bro. I was like, we gonna go to the gloomiest of the gloomiest. You feel me? Like they have a lot of food drives and turkey drives at homeless shelters and like at in homeless communities that are more organized. Skid Row is where like is the lowest of low. These are the people that don't uh-huh. reap the benefits of that. These are the youth that don't reap the benefits from toy drives. These are those youth that are still out there on the on the streets, like really fucked up. You feel me? So I was like, we gonna we gonna we gonna touch these people. You feel me? The people that ain't got nobody donating to them. So when we went out there, like some of the people were just like not even like like they were just like, what you talking about doing a pizza? Like what the fuck? And some and some niggas was out there trapping. You feel me? They like, no, nah, I don't want no fucking pizza. <laughs> But like when we ran into the people that did want it, the people that was like grateful, they was really really grateful. Like I ran into a tent for the like the shit that I didn't get on camera. I ran into a tent and it was like four tents connected, and all of the people in it was on wheelchairs. And it was like six damn. people in wheelchairs, my nigga. Mm. And they was all homeless and tents, bro. I was like, damn. I get asked like two pizzas. Like here, y'all take both of these boxes. You feel me? Like damn, that's fucked up. You feel me? And they were like so grateful. Like they man, if I can interrupt, that sound like that sound like some niggas should just be starting from the beginning of the year. Like like like, and then when that time come, like man, if I like I don't really know, but if I like that sound like some shit. Like at the beginning of the year, you like yo, this is this is for this. At the end of the year, let's just start bringing all the money together now. Like everybody, even off of events. <laughs> Even off of events, hey, take 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 fifty dollars from every event. Uh, R&B, anybody that throw an event on the West Coast or whatever, take fifty fifty sixty bucks from every event and put it towards this pot. Like, man, that sound that should sound dope. That should sound dope. That should. Sound the one dope. thing man, I want to. It wasn't even like. It wasn't even like. I, I, right I, set, the, I set the bar low on on spending too. A hundred slices at at fucking Domino's or. Or Little Caesars or a Papa John's, that you only spending like a hundred to one hundred and fifty. You feel me? Like you gonna spend maybe maybe more if you if you get like twelve pieces. Like you if you get like twelve pieces and like four friends, each one of y'all only gonna spend about a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. You gonna spend less than that, Little nothing. Caesars. The Little Caesars pieces niggas, are five forty five fifty nine. So twelve times five is like fifty. So you can spend like hey, one five bucks. You know? One. One thing I will say, man, and this is just from my experience, man. I remember we actually was at traffic last year. We were uh, going to traffic. I remember I was driving past that whole entire Skid Row area. And I mean block after block after block. It just kind of was eye-opening to me because we have that here in Sacramento, but not on that scale. Like, that was down oh, there like I a know mile what worth of about. stretch. Yeah, that shit's crazy. You get what I'm saying? And that, that opened yeah, my eyes. So crazy. we even, at that time, man, we was, like, giving away apparel. Like, we had just bought 
battle rap t shirt. It's like, here, man, take this, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to see Smooth yeah. do something where he went there to feed the people, that to me hit home to me because I'm like, bro, I remember driving past that and walking on the street and talking to the right, people. And it's shit. like, man, that's dope right there, shit. man. We can call that shit a smooth Christmas. <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> For that's real. Yeah, yeah. No, I wanted to shout you shit. out on that, bro, because I feel like we can always shout people out for a performance in a battle or some crazy bar that you right, said, but right. to do something like that where you're giving back, bro, I, not enough people get the credit they deserve for that. So I definitely wanted to commend you, you know what I'm saying, and do something to bring it up so people could go ahead and be aware. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nico. Just yeah, for that. No, I, I appreciate that shit. I appreciate that shit, man. I really, really appreciate that shit. I mean, uh, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really like, like super happy of the, the, the response that, 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 that it got and the people that got behind it, man. It was, it was definitely a blessing and it's something that I'm definitely going to, keep doing every year and like he said i want to make something some bigger happen with it i know more people want to get involved and i'm definitely down and i wanted to make it something big man i want to make it something really really big i've been reaching out to a pizza company about it sending them the videos and stuff hopefully get a sponsorship by next year where they you know fund some shit in different cities where niggas will go out and do it you feel me yeah, I'm really excited about That's it, man. The up. toy drive next month. Whoever want to be a part of the toy drive, definitely welcome to come through around town with out. us. Hey, so smooth, man. I gotta bring this up too, man, because you know, you know, I be I be paying attention, man. I try to make sure I I make sure I give the people the good news, man. You got a winter tour coming up, man. What's what's going on with that, man? How you feeling? God, man, I'm excited. You know, you know. Super excited, ready to turn up. It's cracking. I see you have a lot of dates, man. I think it was like maybe six or seven different dates I've seen on the flyer, man. You definitely gonna be active traveling around and whatnot. I mean, was this something yeah. you had already planned on this year to make sure you had this in or Man, yeah, it was. And it was part of the um battling every month, you feel me? And then winter came around, December came around. Shit, nigga, I got like after the um before from December first to fifteenth, it's only like four days. I'm gonna be back at the crib. You feel me? So from doing from traveling and doing the uh, doing the events and battles, events, shows, and the Mexico date, and then coming back to California and doing the um, next battle. So I put all that together with my um, January date. You know, set it all up. Got the flyer out. Got everybody. Tra- got a couple homies traveling with me, man. We gonna make it work. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I heard that. I heard that, man. I seen you had one of them up in Sacramento, man. I'm gonna have to pull up on that. Uh... Sacramento, yeah, that's um on the fifth of January. Yeah, I was I was peeping that. I'm gonna have to see about pulling up on that, man. Definitely want to support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come through. Get the message that out there. supposed to be at this, uh, like, supposed to be at this, like, uh, uh, like, underground bar type shit. It's a private event. So we definitely going to have to get you up in there. Okay, okay. I'm going to make sure I tell my peoples out here so they can pull up, too, man. Make sure they got notice yeah. ahead of time. See what they can get cracking. Things going to pop out the so, track town for sure. So smooth, I man. I, I have to ask you this, bro. And I almost don't want to know the answer in case you say you done, man. But I have to ask, man. You done took all these battles versus top comp this year. Are we seeing yeah. Cali Smooth in 2019 in Battle Rap, man? Or are you just giving us one last year and then you out? No, no, no. I was no, no. Hell no. I gotta uh. I got to keep the ball rolling, but I'm definitely going to slow the fuck down. I'm about as much as Grizz do next year. Mm, okay. Like okay. that. You feel me? I'm a pop. As long as, as long as you don't battle as much as Lux do, I guess you're good. Yeah, you feel me? I'm going <laughs> to pop out. That's what it is. I'm going to try to. I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying. That's the goal. That's the goal, to build the value, to make the to build the value and make the people want to see you and then – make it special for them to see you. Like, I remember we used to see Conceited all the time. It was grind time, uploads of Conceited all the time. And then it was a point in time 
when he just disappeared and we only saw him like once a year or like twice a year. And every time we saw him, it was special as fuck. You feel me? Whether it was King of the Dot, Grind Time, you are real. He got the top competition he wanted on the biggest leagues. You feel me? Because he built his mm. value. He made it special. He made it He made it something different to see him. He made us want to see him, and then he disappeared. So I just want the people to want to give a fuck. I want the people to give a fuck. People to be like, oh, like I want to see that. And then, and then, you know, make it like, okay, we want him to battle like this dude, like the top nigga over here, the top nigga over here, like, you know, and special when you pop out, you feel me? That's definitely the goal. Sue Surf got it on lock, you know? I heard that, I heard that. Well, yeah, man, I want to see you get the main stage next year, man. I, I, first of all, URL need to drop you versus Badafi Green. That, that's what the first thing man. they got to do in there. Right after they drop that, then I got. When, I want to see the you Fetty next battle, year main stage. When they dropped Fetty versus Grizz, it gave me more hope than than ever. I was like, okay, cool. Was cool, y'all cool, battle? Cool. I mean, was there any like chokes or stumbles or a reason why they wouldn't drop it, or do you think it's just they kind of holding it for? You know what I'm saying? To drop it later. Man, I ain't going to lie. But Dossi did have a couple. And they wasn't bad. They wasn't bad. They wasn't bad at all. They was like, but it's like, are you, and, and you know, shit is magnified when you're in the battle. So I like, I did notice him like slow down a couple of times. I wouldn't even call it a choke. Maybe a slick, like a slip, 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 stumble, 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 and got to the next bar. Something like that, you know. It was a couple of those, mm. and um, that okay. battle was taken on short notice. We took that battle on like two weeks' notice, so I can't be I can't Damn. be mad at him, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> One a big yeah, event, like a big main event. You know what I'm saying? Co-main event battle like that on two weeks. That's crazy. Now, now, hit now. Hear this out, though. Hear this out. I got a different opponent for that event. And I wrote three rounds for that nigga. And I damn near had to memorize, my nigga. I wrote three rounds for that mm. nigga. Damn near had to memorize. Two days later, like, not even two days later. It was about, i say about a week and a half <laughs> later. Niggas hit me back like, yeah, like, the, your opponent, the dude you were supposed to battle, ain't really trying to do it right now. He got this and this going on. And I'm like, damn, for real, I got all this material. And like, but look, we got Badafi Green. No offense to Badafi Green, of course, he's dope, but I had never heard of him. I had never even heard his name before. So I was like, fuck, the event's in like three weeks. Like, let me see what's cracking. Like, damn, all right, all right, let me think about it. I holler at somebody that I call that, you know, Clutch and, and everybody, and they like, yeah, yeah, just do it. So I had to really watch this nigga, bro. And in like two and a half weeks, bro, right, right. Learn about him, learn who he is, try to think of some stuff. I ain't never, I don't know him. Try to think of some stuff of, of, of like different to say. Try to think of some unique stuff that they never, it was, it was very hard because it was the biggest league. You feel me? So it was like, I got to make an impression. That shit was a diff. that was a difficult time. And I had a battle like two weeks before. Oh man, that shit was crazy. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was uh, uh, pressure right there. That was a pressure cooker. I had to write two two battles for um initiation. Hmm. Totally different name. Yeah. So it was like I couldn't use the same thing. So can you tell us who was a, your your opponent was supposed to be or are you gonna keep that to the to the chest? I don't think they I don't even think they want me to. Okay. <laughs> I, they I, they might mess around and book a first that person next year, DJ. I just, I just, I, no, 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 no. I just have to ask. just have to throw it out there. Hey, hey. Nah, you I, never I, know until you I, ask. Like, I, I just don't even think they would want me to because they had a lot For going sure. on at that time and shit. And I was just like, you know, I understood. They was posting some different type of shit on Facebook and shit. So I was like. Probably ain't in the right mentality to even battle right now. I couldn't be mad. I heard that. 